obviously not everybody's going to be uh, growing their own food. Uh, if you go to the grocery store, you're likely seeing that big hike in prices and the strain on your wallet. And we are joined by the grocery guy, Matthew hey. Tellez, uh, to go. join us to talk about how we can save money. First of all, you shop for a lot of people. Yeah. And yeah, definitely. You've noticed how high prices have gone, right? Yeah, oh, it's something I'm watching every single day because I'm out there in the grocery stores every single day. And uh, definitely a noticeable increase in what we're seeing as far as pricing on the shelves. Are honestly. your customers asking you, hey, like, get the off brand, save me some cash? You know, I don't think I'm quite into that space just yet. Um, a lot of my clients, they're very particular about what they want and, you know, they'll kind of pay any price for it. But I am seeing some new clients coming in more price uh, consciousness and. More so on the produce end, looking for better bang for your buck on that end, I'm seeing. Um, but a, a whole lot of more just chatter so far, not actually purchasing decisions on savings. But I'm definitely, um, you know, going to be probably dealing with a lot of that in the coming days. Yeah. What is your best saving tip for all of us who go to the grocery store and actually have a particular brand that we like or style of food? The best saving tip for that, I would say, is... Definitely do your due diligence and have a plan. Um, not a lot of grocery stores are doing great discounts right now. You're seeing a lot of discounts mm. on home products, things like that. Uh, however, I have found that in most areas, there is at least one grocery store that is actually still doing good discounts locally here in Chicago. I'm seeing a lot of good discounts at Jewel. Uh, whether it be digital coupons or things like that. So what I always say is your morning, say, bathroom time instead of TikTok, looking at funny videos, like go through some coupon apps or some loyalty discount programs, and you're actually making money that way as opposed to just making yourself laugh. But, you know, you could do a little bit of both. I know I do. Um, but I would definitely say have a plan before you send someone or before you go into a store today. What about apps? You mentioned coupon apps. What were some of the best apps that we can yeah. use? Right uh, now? One that I've been swearing by for years um, is Ibotta. Um, they have a lot of good discounts on there, a lot of good stores. Uh, they're growing every day. Obviously, there is a trade off. You are going to see your, your data going out into the ether there, but you know, at least the bot is giving you some money back for it as opposed to you know, clicking on a web page and it's just going away for free. Mm -hmm. Another one that I use actually for my oil changes is I stack uh, uh, coupons for like AutoZone, things like that, and I get free oil changes. Uh, or and I do then you can spend it on groceries. You can also spend it on groceries <laughs> as well. Yeah, you can do anything with uh, that money. It's basically just cash back into your pocket from a lot of the apps now. So you can either get products with it, discounts on products, bank the discounts you get from all those products, and then you can have a nice nest egg you know, after the year. I've made or saved over $2,000 on Ibotta in the last like two or three years, wow. uh, as well as Fetch. You know, free oil changes is great. Do you notice that there's a trend in people buying in bulk now to save money versus buying just for the week or just for a You know, I'm actually seeing a little less bulk buying. I'm seeing people more buying for shorter durations as opposed to the long haul because we are in this crazy time period where, like, history is just coming at us, so we don't really know what's happening next month, the month after that. Uh, so I'm seeing more of a lot of just smaller kind of weekly shops, uh, and my kind of monthly large orders are kind of falling off a little bit, but still I think people are, you know, prepared to pay higher prices. And, and, you know, they have some history behind that of having some savings, but I would prefer them to pay less, definitely. Yeah, and you'd prefer them to pay less, but I mean, really right now, everything is expensive across the board. Organic foods are so much more popular. Are there any savings there? Uh, the savings are going to be basically what you can you know, patch together yourself. Uh, I listen to a lot of earnings calls for the, the CEOs of the grocery chains, and they're super happy to charge higher prices, obviously. That's kind of its own thing right now. Um, but really, you're, you're not going to see a whole lot of specials and deals. Uh, you really have to, that one thing is just to patch together your own discounts yourself and kind of do the work or send someone like me to do it. Um, I would say kind of right now, stay away from larger apps as you're going to see uh, inflationary price increases on their products. Uh, in association with all of the fees added on top of that. So one larger um, app-based delivery, they charged the customer $190 for a receipt that was for 118 So, you know, be very aware of kind of where those fees are going, what you're paying for your product, and try and go with a company that can give you the store receipt if you're going to get it delivered. Then you know that you're paying what you're paying, and you know where the excess money is going. Yeah, so. you know how much you're being charged to get that Definitely. convenient service. Definitely. Matthew Tejas, the grocery guy, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.